Hey guys, it's Chris, and I'm here with the book review. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but I have a few more coming up. Uh, and this one is on Eve the Awakening by Jenna Morrissey. Uh, so this Eve the Awakening is a new adult sci-fi story. Um, I have been reading a lot of sci-fi recently, even though I'm writing a sci-fi story, which sounds a little weird, but it's just kind of I've been so immersed in my own story that I've been reading a lot more fantasy and other genres. But um, this has been really interesting already right off the bat because being a new adult story, Eve actually really felt her age in this book. She felt a lot older, and I really liked her already, than more so than a lot of protagonists I have been reading. I really liked kind of her um, matureness um, that she kind of shows throughout the book. Eve is a chimera, and chimeras are more advanced humans. They have more strength, more speed, um, and also have the ability to move things with their mind. And Eve's known she's been a chimera since she was around eight years old. Um, and a very traumatic experience kind of made her powers emerge. Chimeras are outcast in this society, and so she's been an outcast since she was eight years old. People don't treat chimeras very well, and you see that right off the bat. Um, and you continue to see that kind of throughout the book. Eve uh, wants to go to college and blend in, but that's not really going to work out for her right now. Um, Eve's school gets in, is infiltrated by interlopers, and interlopers are aliens who are come to our planet in search of the chimeras and wanting to understand their abilities and gain the abilities for themselves. Um, and so Eve then has to try to be a college student while also dealing with alien invasion and aliens coming after her and her friends and people that she's close to and care about. And that's kind of the plot of the story. A lot more than that, because there's so many freaking twists in the story. Like, there's a, I counted, I was highlighting them as I was reading it on my Kindle, and it was just, like, at least six big kind of twists. There are, like, tiny explosions. Not plot bombs, like, tiny plot bombs throughout, and then one really big bomb that goes off, and you are shocked, and you're surprised, and you don't really know how to function. At least that's how it was for me. Like, I theorized about who kind of the big villain of the story was for so long. I was like, I read this over a few days, and I was like, it's going to be this person, or it's going to be this person, or it's going to be this person. I had three guesses, and I was pretty 100% sure that it was my first guess. I was like, oh man, that's going to be really good. It's going to be her. I think, it's, I think I'm right. And guess what, guys? I was completely wrong, so wrong, that all three of them were wrong. All three of my guesses were wrong. And I was shocked and I loved it. Like, I love you, Jenna, for it because I was so shocked. I didn't expect it. It was such a big twist. And I was sitting there just blown away by it. And that's a really good thing for a story for me when I don't know what's coming. Because I didn't know what was coming. I was so shocked. My mouth dropped open on the CTA. I was reading this on the CTA. And people were probably looking at me like I was crazy because I think I was just mouthing, wow over and over again for like a couple of minutes and yeah it was just that good. The other big things that I did like about the story kind of fit more with the actual writing of the story and that was like first the dialogue and the characters. Really fantastic characters, really great dialogue and interaction between the characters. Our protagonist Eve, like I said, she's very mature and I really like that and also I just kind of liked seeing her grow from the beginning and I feel like we grow with Eve throughout the story and I really liked that. Um, kind of going on this kind of growth path with this character. I didn't like the dream sequences but you know what? I don't like dream sequences in books. That's just kind of thing. I have actually written one in my book and that's going to be it for me with some dream sequences. Like, I'm just not a dream sequence person. But I still really, really liked her kind of arc and everything that she's done. And I really actually loved the last dream sequence that happens. I was very surprised. Very, very surprised by that. And I really liked it. Jason, the love interest. Jason's a little extra sometimes, but I'm like... Kind of like, let's take a step back. Because I really do like some things about their relationship that I don't see in other books. Um, kind of like his respect for her is different than I see the other male protagonists and for their, with female protagonists and male-female stories. Um, I really like kind of their relationship, their dynamic, um, and just the, how he's okay with the fact that she's stronger than he is. Because she is. She's a lot stronger than Jason is. Um... And I, I, don't know, I just really like that about it, and I like the way their kind of relationship kind of develops throughout this, throughout so much chaos. 
Percy is my favorite character, probably, maybe, sort of, maybe. Um, he is a gay character, and I didn't expect this story to have one. I didn't know this story was going to have a gay character, but I was really excited when I found out that it did. And he's badass. He, Percy is absolutely badass. I was so excited. I had to be like, be like oh my god, this is this character, and he's gay, and I didn't know he was going to be gay, and he's badass, and he's great. And also, not only just badass, but he's a really good friend. And you see that and multiple times throughout the book, and I really, really like that about him and getting to see that side of him. Also, P uh, Percy, Sancho, and another character, um, their dynamics, that they're the type of comic relief I like in a story. Um, Sancho and JJ, they're both cracked out their mind, but I love them. I Like, I was reading this book, like, man, you guys are cracked out your mind at different times, mostly with Sancho, but, like, I love them at the same time. Like, they're just great. The fight scenes is my last kind of big thing that I really liked in the story. The fight scenes are so well done. At least I felt like they were. Um, each fight scene is bigger than the one before it, I feel like, and better. Not necessarily better. I think I like one of the earlier fights with of waste really, really, really large. I really liked one of the earlier fights because it was one of the big fights with kind of a group. Um, but it, they were bigger each time. I really liked that. And Jenna has the best descriptors, like descriptive words and to describe the emotions or things that are going on during the fight. I just really enjoyed it. I liked getting being able to see the whole battlefield. We get to see what Eve's doing in the fight. We get to see what Jason's doing during this fight. Because they're not all fighting in one thing and going one at a time. It's like sometimes there's an onslaught of aliens coming at them and everyone's doing their own thing. <laughs> trying to survive here. Um, and we got to see a little bit of each of them. And I, the fight scenes were so good that I had went back and like took notes on the descriptor words. Like I was like highlighting things on my Kindle, writing some stuff down, um, and I just I just had to because it was just that good. I had pretty high expectations from reading the first three chapters, but it surpassed that bar largely because of the big twist, but also because of those fighting scenes and those characters and the dynamics. It's just a really good book that I enjoyed a lot. So I had to do a video review of it, along with my blog review, which kind of goes in detail about some other stuff. I don't think I mentioned everything here that I mentioned in the blog review, so you guys want to go check that out. I will put a link down to the blog review, along with the link to Eve's um, first three chapters on Jenna Morrissey's website, so you guys can go check those out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I will see you guys next time and there will be more reviews coming up I have like three more reviews that I plan on doing but probably not tonight so I will see you all when I do those I guess see you